Lizzie you've heard, welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Today, we are going to be doing quite a few things. I think I wanna open up a new area over this way. I wanna get the Puddle Slimes and the Boom Slimes, Ember Slimes, I'm not sure what they are, but we need ports from both of those slimes, so we'll be getting that. On top of that, we have some messages to attend to. We have tons of money if we wanna upgrade stuff. I also need to make sure that everybody is well and properly fed. Like, you guys are all out of your uh, stuff, so I'll have to work on that, but right now it's actually out, huh, okay. They ate that pretty quick then. Oh, here's one. <laughs> it's not much, but it's something. There you go. Did that go through? That did, okay. So, well, what can they, else can they eat in the meantime? They can eat some meat, so I might set them up with that while we're growing some more. Let's go ahead and just grab all this stuff, no problem. I might just go with the briar hens, because it seems like that's what we have a lot of. But speaking of which, while we're checking all that out, how much is going on over here? So they, they will get normal hen hens. There we go, let's just top them off over this way and then do the same thing for them. Just to make sure they have food because I did not realize they were totally out. There you go, that'll keep them, I think, busy for a little bit, I would hope. In the meantime, I need to grab you. And I guess we might wanna grab some more chicken soon just so that we can make extra sure that, that we have growing numbers because right now it seems like we don't really. Um, but you know what would help? First off, getting those guys and making sure that these ones don't leave their pen because if they do, they're obviously not gonna make more. All right then, so what's going on around here? How are you guys doing? So you guys have a decent amount of beats and a lot of ports waiting for me, so gotta make sure that that is actually working. There we go, I think, I think that got the most of them. Uh, but with a lot of those rock ports and the angler ports, we already have them stored away just in case we do need them, uh, but how are we doing here? Yep, so those are all topped out. We could keep saving them up if we wanted to until the money is up because we sold a lot of them. But we can build up to 100 for a while. But I do have another set of these I can put into their tank just to get them set up for a bit. Oh wait, no, wrong, wrong place, whoops, sorry. Uh, that's over here, there we go. And that should keep them going for a while. We're just trying to make sure we, we check in with everybody, make sure they're good before we head out for the day because it seems like there's a lot we can do. We can also check our farms over this way and make sure more of the same, everything is going well. So how about these guys? First off, no wait, wait, no. I'm doing that the other way around. That's good. This stuff's topped out, uh, off, so I need to definitely make the most of that soon. But as you can see, the pomegranates are actually doing great. They're producing a lot and really helping out the uh, the fatty crystal slime slimes. There we go, I got that. So we're just going to, I'm stuck, hold on. There we go, I'm just going to do a bit of this. And since I, I don't think I have, let me double check, is everything maximized here that really needs to be? I think so, yeah. What about for the farms? Uh, I think we could get things like, you know, I don't think we'll need it, but getting the scare slimes just in case, I think is always good. Oh, and look at all these beeps we got. A ton of them. Some of them have unfortunately wilted. I wish that there was some kind of auto collector for these. I don't think there is, at least not that I've seen. There's 40 of them, I'll have to grab the other soon. Wow, look at all these guys here. I had totally forgotten there were so many. A sea chickadee, equal parts salt and fluff. So we actually have quite a lot of these. Oh, you know what we need? Let's see, we need the elder collector, just for an extra bit of productivity there. So there's one of each. I definitely don't need the sea chicks, but some of you were telling me that we can actually bank these away, the sea hens, but whose was who liked the sea hens the most? I can't quite remember. Um, Oh, the angler, of course. I don't know how I forgot that. So if we were ever running low on beets, which I don't think is gonna happen anytime soon, we could do that instead. These guys do just eat fruit and veggie, so I can't help them out too much. But just having some extra of this, I think would be helpful. So I'm glad to have it. Okay, so we'll run over and store some of that stuff away, and then I think we'll be good to get started with our adventure in today's episode. So first off, yeah, I'll just top this off, I think just so that they're good and happy for a long time. Got it. And then over here, will this work on this side? We'll find out. Oh yeah, see, so you can store them. Pretty cool. Okay, the only thing I didn't get is I didn't get the onions. I could try to get those really quickly. Okay, so I should have good storage on basically everything now, so that'll be good. What I might wanna do is, those are looking good. Do I need any more here? I do need 30 more into this thing. So let's make sure that this is topped off. There you go. And then same thing with the crystal pores. Just making sure that we have the storage. I don't know if what it'll be in ever a situation where we need to pot, like use this stuff. So I just try to make sure that there's extra. 
in case that situation pops up. But if I have nine extra, I might as well put that in there, get some extra money. We have so much cash at the moment though that I'm really not even in a position to worry about it too much. Just make sure everything is getting collected and I think we're good to go. So first let's read whatever messages we have. It looks like we have one from Mochi Miles. B, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I've analyzed one of the drones you've been finding all over that island and you know why it, and know why it seems familiar to me. It's mine. Or at least, it's one that I've seen before. In my dreams, anyway. After I looked at scans I took of it, I knew it was familiar, so I began looking through some old slime science journals of mine. These journals are mostly future projects, but sometimes they're speculative technology. You know me, I'm always thinking six steps ahead to keep Mochi Tech on top of the industry. Well, sometimes I come up with the impossible, stuff that I may never engineer in my lifetime. Well, those drones you're finding are exactly that impossible with today's technology and taken right from the pages of my journals. There's something I saw in a dream, B. So how did a bunch of impossible drones I designed in a dream find their way from the pages of my journal journals to Rainbow Island? Maybe, maybe there's some kind of archive in them we can unlock to learn more. I know they contain data logs, but if we were, if it were me, well, I always know how to find a way of holding back what I need to. Okay, B. I, I need some time to think on this. I'll let you know if I come up with anything. Maybe I'll sleep on it. All right, well, hopefully they dream up something cool. Okay, so just a few more things before we head out. But yeah, it seems like there might actually be some tri time travel happening. I'm not really sure. It, it really does sound like that's the case. But either way, we're gonna get some stuff set up just like this. And then over here, grab some Q berries. And then I should be good to go if I wanna go out to the, uh, what is it, the Ember Valley, and get those slimes that I've been looking for. So over this way, how is everybody looking? I can top you guys off with Q-berries. And they have at least some briar hens to keep them happy. So I might keep these mint mangoes just for now, just in case, uh, but they'll need them eventually. So in the meantime, I guess, load this stuff up as much as I can. And just whatever I have left over, I could just feed to whoever wants it. So who, who likes veggie, rather? You guys like veggie? You do. So here's some extra food for you. Um, and then we can collect what's in there. Just like that. And then what else can we put in there? I think some stuff is a little full at the moment, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like it. So I might just have to store it in their actual feeders. I might have to take the carrots out at some point, because I don't know any, like none of them, it, it's their favorite, you know? So that's where things get a little complicated, especially like with that and stuff, but hmm. I could open up, like I said, I'm gonna be opening up this area. Maybe I could just run in there and set up a silo real quick, or I can move stuff around in some different ways because thinking about it, maybe I should just have the odd onions in a silo down there where they might make the most out of it. And same thing, well, the hens are preferred by them. So maybe I could figure out some kind of different setup here. Okay, I got everything as organized as I can for now. Like I said, when we open up the next area, I'm sure things will become a little bit more easy to figure out. But with that being said, I think we're good to move forward. I just wanna go back to the um, the Ember Valley, which is this one. There's still plenty more things we can find there, and I'm going to be trying my best to find as much of it as possible. But for right now, my main focus is mostly going to be the water slimes, the puddle slimes, whatever they're called, and the bloom slimes, or that whatever they are, they're the fiery ones we can find in the volcano. There's a couple of other materials we can find there too, so if I stumble across those, I will definitely grab them. So we're back in Ember Valley and I can already hear if there's a bunch of tars around. That's something I wanna work up to in today's episode is building the water thing so that I can actually get rid of tars a lot easier. The problem is I don't have the right slimes for it, so that's why we're trying to get the ones we're getting. So hopefully that goes well in today's episode. And when it comes down to it, there's some other slimes I could get to. There's, there's a lot of slimes I need to get. What do you know? <laughs> it's a game about collecting them. So of course there's gonna be quite a lot of them. I don't really need too many food items, I don't think, at least not from this area. I know, I know, they're running around. So these slimes we're all pretty familiar with. I'm just looking around to see any extra materials. So if we can find some brined, silky sand, anything like that would be really great to discover as well. So just looking around, seeing what we can maybe uncover as we move around or some things we might've missed. Cause see, I don't know if that is a little secret spot. It looks like it is. So yeah, I think if I were to hit that with one of the bloom ports, I'll be able to open it up. What about that one? That looks like another bloom port one. So things like that, I also need to start discovering, which I think I will over time. Got some cute little rock ports or rock slimes. 
And this one just seems to be a happy little guy. Like, that doesn't seem to be, yeah. You, I need you, ringtail slime. Where there's crime, there's a ringtail slime. That is so cute. So I'll have to read more about them later in today's episode. But I've been meaning to catch one of them. I think they only come out during the nighttime like this. A lot of you let me know. So it's good to keep in mind. But I think also you could just take the rock version of them and just bring that with you if you wanted to. Oh, I see a pot over here. And I remember we already jumped around up there and we didn't find too much. Hi, little slime. I don't need you too much. But uh, is there anything over this way? We did get one of the ringtail ports from the ringtail slime. Big surprise, right? I wonder if there's anything over there. I don't think we've checked. See, it's just definitely different things to look out for, but I think for the most part, we can keep going this way. I might not be going the most effective way. I honestly don't entirely remember exactly where everything is, but I figure we'll find it as we go along. I don't know if I need too much uh, radiant, or I'll hold it for now, and if we run into better stuff, we'll take that instead. It was somewhere around this general area though, maybe more out this way, but I think we're sort of making our way over there slowly. It's just not a straight linear path is all. Whoa, yeah, this is where there's a bunch of rock slimes. Uh, and we also have puddle slimes, here we go. Okay, keep one, of, keep one in your boot and you'll always stay cool. But it's weird. Okay, um, so yeah, we'll get as many puddle slimes as we can manage. We have three of them so far. If I see any more, I'll definitely grab them. But they're easy to sort of miss. And we do get puddle ports, which I'll keep for now. I might drop those so I can actually switch it out for um, other things later. But now that I have the slime, I can make as many ports as I need, right? But I think having a good collection of puddle slimes would be a good idea. So there's that. And is there anything up here? Not that I can see. So what kind of things does this guy need? Veggies. So if I were to drop my two radiant ores for now and grab some of these veggies, I know it's not enough to you know, make them super happy, but we can at least fill them up a little bit and that would be good. And we can find plenty of veggies around just as we're exploring. So let's get up here. I got some carrots for you. Oh, I missed one. Whoops, wait, no, I got it, I got it. Perfect. All right, eat up the carrots. Like I said, not enough to make you super duper happy, but it's something. Wow, and here we are at the, more of the ember spots. I think I see something over there. Don't know what that is. I don't know how much we've, we've explored this spot specifically. So let's definitely try to figure this out. And that's where it can be difficult is just to know what have we done, what haven't we done. It can be hard to keep up because there's so many different ways to go that it takes a lot of time to get familiar. I think this is just where we were. So maybe there's a way to loop around. Okay, good to know. Probably wanna check up there at some point or up some of these spots. For right now we have full energy, so I'm just gonna sprint forward. And when the music's picking up. Or maybe I'm, yeah, 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 I'm in the right spot. Oh no, poor Tabby Slimes. Not much I can do at the moment, sorry. But I could get over here. Is there anything interesting? So I'm pretty sure I saw something. It might have just been, oh, I've already opened it. Okay, it could be hard to tell from a distance. But there we go, some more coins. And there's a lot going on around here. I've definitely, of course, have explored this area in the past. But we're just looking for some ember slimes. Having a, or I think they're called bloom or something. Have I done this one? I know I'm on a mission here, but that hasn't changed anything about the geysers. They're still fun as heck. I think I can afford a few minutes to splash like the old days. Yeah, I think that we have. Oh, we got more veggies up here if we did want to take some. I think I'm going to leave it be for now. And let's keep going farther. Because soon enough we'll run into the ember stuff. Only a matter of time. Might have to wait here for a second to get blasted up. Whee! There we go. Yeah, this is looking a bit more familiar to me, so that's good. Oh, and this is more of the beach. Okay, so yeah, all right. I'm understanding. I was over there. I do remember that. But, oh no. Ooh, out of energy. Lots of slimes popping up. Nothing that I need too much though. Got it. Lots of chickens. We needed that. Huh. Maybe that was an easy way to get here because I feel like I've definitely been here before too, but either way, nothing too much to sweat about. 
Okay, don't want to go in the water. Because the more we explore it, even if it takes us a while, the more we're figuring out how to get around. And that's always important. I, I hear that radiant ore. But the radiant ore we can find just about anywhere on Ember Valley. So it's not really high on my priority list. Ooh, here we go. This might be something. Yeah, this cave is feeling a little familiar to me. I think we've reached it. Yeah, this is where we found all that stuff, which I don't really need too much here. But what is this? Deep brine. Okay. Well, we've gotten more of that, you know, previously. I think that's where I spit it out before because I needed the inventory space. I see what's happening. All right, that's so silly. But, aha, you guys are what I need. So, I don't really need a ringtail pour or puddle pours because I'm going to be getting them myself. I probably shouldn't have done that though because I might make some tars. It's okay. We get a boom slime. Uh, careful, these slimes have been known to explode. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so let's get as many boom slimes as we can. I don't know why, but when I saw the boom ports, why can't I, oh, they're fire slimes. Whoa, hold on, there's more than one kind. Okay, fire slimes, like a little campfire, except that it moves and it's a slime. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we're finding so much here. Let me grab the fire slimes then, and the boom slime. Ow, that hurts, gotta be careful. And what do you want? You want fruit. And I know where I can get some. But we're getting a little bit of everything right now. I didn't realize that there was a fire slime, but I'm trying to focus on the boom. When I saw the boom port before, I thought it was a balloon port. And is this one? No, okay, that doesn't need anything. Okay, what else can we do around here? Because there's definitely going to be more uh, of this stuff. There's so much I gotta do here, so much I gotta collect. But first, I don't know if I've read this one. No, I have, I have, I do remember that. I wish there was some kind of marker that made it a little bit more obvious. There we go. I got some carrots, which I didn't really need very much, but. Hmm. Just trying to look around and find out. This is where I started turning back because there were uh, tars running around, which right now there's not much, but I can hear them. They're probably coming. Okay, so let's get the primordial oil because that is actually an important resource I do need a lot more of. Is that the only primordial oil around here? It might just be. This is where we came in before, don't land in the lava. Okay, oh, there's some more primordial oil. Four of it? Oh no, what is that? It's lava dust. Oh no, I'm out of stuff right now. Um, what do I wanna do? Lava dust is equally as important. I mean, the fire slimes are great, but they're not what I was intending to get. I don't know if I have too much of a place to put them. But now I know exactly where to find them, so maybe I'll come back for the fire slimes. I'm so sorry, but I really need these materials because the materials are harder to come across. This is Lava Dust, a survey on the state of this matter answered undecided. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm not gonna try to find too much more new stuff, oh no. Just going to try to find more of what we've already found. So let's try going down this way since I haven't been. And we'll make the most out of what we find, no matter what it is. So it looks like we're heading out to another beach area, and if I could find, whoa, look at this place. A map marker somewhere, I'm looking all over. Those are really, really helpful. But I wish we could like write on the map or make some kind of markings. That'd be cool. Hi guys. Well, this is where we can find some angry, fatty boom largos. Oh no. Oh, I do see some more of this stuff. I definitely wanna grab. Whoa, the game's having a hard time keeping up with that. All right, so a little bit more lava dust. Please watch it. I can't really feed you right now. But look what I see in the distance, even more lava dust. So I'll try to grab that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, they're right on top of me. Trying to move out of the way of that then. But we're finding a ton of this stuff, which is really good. And some more over this way. This might be more of the oil. Okay, well, I'll gladly take all that. Okay, okay, hold on. They are just really trying to get me right now. <laughs> I wonder what's up here, though. Anything besides hot molten lava and angry, angry slimes? It doesn't seem like it. I wanna get up here real quick if I can. Ow, oh, not good, not good. Need to watch my health bar. Because I've already gotten this one. Not much there for me anymore. So I think we'll just hop up that way. It might just be easier to fly up, because I can, or not. There's like a maximum height you can get off of jetpacking. It's a little weird, but I think there is going to be eventually a jetpack upgrade, so 
I could. Can you not? Oh no, I just launched my stuff because of you. There we go, I got it. And with that, I can get across. And then from there, I go to here. Much better, much better. And this area is looking interesting. I wonder what's in that thing. Whoa. Okay, so first off, grab some more primordial oil. Got some more fire slimes too. Just knowing the location of them is pretty important. There's so much around. I do see some more boom slimes and I think I'll grab a couple more just to really top it off. I think five of each, if I wanna combine both the boom and the puddle, because I think that's a funny combination. Um, I think having five of each to make us 10 would be a pretty good start to everything. Hmm. And yeah, now I'm just trying to look around a little bit. Okay. Uh, what is that? I think that's just a rock. Uh oh, here comes some tar. But I'll just have to leave. But with all the stuff we're getting, we're making huge strides towards what we need. And that's important. That's also just really cool. I do want to see while we're out, what are the favorite foods of the slimes we're now getting? So we have things like the ringtail doesn't have a favorite. Interesting. Um, the puddle slime doesn't have a favorite. Is that common? Is it some of these, or do I just not know the favorites of them? Huh, that's weird. What about the boom? The boom likes to briar hens, which we have actually a lot of those, so that should be good. How weird is that? I didn't realize that some of them would, or so many of them wouldn't have favorites. I figured that was only really the special kind of slimes or the pink ones. Okay, well there's a tabby slime again. Not too much out this way, it doesn't seem. Over there, there's some stuff, but I, I feel like, oh, there's the map. Okay, that'll be really useful. I'm so curious about what's with this giant thing, but I think that might be something we'll save for later just because I've already done so much. My inventory is quite full, but look at all of this getting cleared out. Wow, very, very cool. The tar are going a little bit crazy over there. So I think I'll grab a little bit more of uh, whatever resources I can stumble upon. Like there's some over there. But beyond that, I think, ooh, there's a ton. Oh, this is great. So that gets me at the 13. I can hold up the 40. So obviously my inventory isn't really all too threatened at the moment. And then we'll do this. What will this one have? Ta-da, the magma pool blueprint acquired. Uh, there's nothing like a hot relaxing soak in, a mag in the magma pool if you are a fire slime. Okay, very cool, very cool. And what stuff do we have up here? Uh, not too much at the moment. Oh, but here's some more stuff. Here's another potential ringtail slime. I think I'll just have to hold it until nighttime now, which it's a little early for that, but I can open up another one of these and this one will have a blueprint required for the medium red ashwood. Uh, these tall ashwood trees uh, rise far above the heat that would cause their leaves to wilt. Very nice. All right, so I don't think there's too much more for me to do around this area. I'm just trying to hold on to this thing while I jump around. I don't know if that was a good idea. Okay, yeah, I think it might be a good time to head back. I didn't realize that the tabby slimes could just run around in lava like that. I might not be able to do too much with them. And even if I could, I don't know, it seems like growing them would be difficult, right? If they don't have a favorite food. Okay, so. Oh, and there's a big Largo blocking it anyway. So I can't get over there immediately, even if I wanted to. So we're gonna run back, and I guess now might be a good time to double check if I miss any other blueprint spots or anything of that variety. I don't think I have, so we can be pretty focused on just heading straight back home. Which, there is another cave over here that I didn't get into. Maybe this is a shortcut, or maybe this will just bring me farther down. I'm not quite sure. Huh. Whoa, it's blocked off from this side. Gotcha, so yeah, nothing I can do with right now. That's okay. Right now, we'll just head back the way we came and hopefully we'll get home in one piece. Okay, so we're finally heading back home. I was just able to sort of float my way over with, with the mountains and everything. And then I'll just teleport over from here, I think. Cause we'll have to set up a couple of things to really figure everything out. But I think we've made some good progress for sure. So. How's everybody doing? Everybody's getting lots of food and stuff. Maybe I could up the speed at which this feeds them. Oh, there's a beat right out here. That's why they're so upset. So I'll deal with that in just a moment. For right now though, I probably just want to deposit my stuff. Um, at least whatever I can. So the uh, 
what is it, the lava dust and the primordi oil definitely needs to go into the collecting collection machine. There we go. And if we take a look, I don't know if I can quite get anything right now, because I need puddle ports for the water tank. For the extra tank, I still need a lot of different stuff. But things like the pulse wave will eventually be good. The boots, I need boom ports. Yeah, I always thought that's a bloom port. I don't know why. Uh, and then there's other things I can build. Like right now, I think I have a refinery link. I could get another one. Um, these pink warp depots, I actually have enough to do something with now, so that's awesome. There's a lot of little upgrades like that I can definitely start investing in. And more puddle ports there. So the weird thing about the puddle slimes was that they didn't have a favorite food, but the boom ports do in the briar hen. So I think that, oh, one of them did get out. Okay, so let's start sending you back in, just like that, and make sure that they're getting fed. Because I think it's what happened is, yeah, this fell out and it made them very hungry. So I might just take a couple, Make sure they're happy and fed. We don't want anybody going hungry. That's the first time one of them has hopped out in a long time. So uh, it shows that we just need to be on top of their feeding and that'll hopefully make some good effects for everybody. Oh, and look at all this, this stuff that's been growing. I definitely need to collect it. And we'll stash some of this away as soon as possible, but I think some of it will just put straight into the feeder. So there's that. And then over this way, there's another one hanging out. A couple of cuberries too, waiting for us. This stuff is growing pretty quick. We got a lot of stuff expanding all at once, and that's always good. So, let's grab some of this. A couple more over this way. Yeah, I'm glad that we're finally getting set up for some of our different upgrades. These guys look hungry. Did you eat all your food? You did. Um, What else did they like again? The honey, honey hunters, right? Something like that. The honey slimes, their favorite was this. Okay, so we should be good with giving that to them. And then the, did I miss it? I think I went right by it. Whoops. Uh, or no, I don't know because I've never caught one. That's the problem. So, right now we just know that they like this stuff. So we'll give them a couple, and then we'll put a couple in here. There we go. That should keep them a bit happier for now. And then, same deal with these guys. How are they doing? They're actually fine. I might yeah, feed them like this a little bit. Okay, really good stuff there at the least. I think everybody else should be well set up for everything. So in the meantime, let's open up our next area over this way. This is the Archway, an expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. We could either do that or we could do this one over here. Maybe that one would be more fitting for the environment we're sort of putting these slimes into. I don't know if it matters too much. But this one sort of looked like it had a second version over here. I really don't know what's up with that. So I want to satiate my curiosity and do that one instead. There's a lot of options, so let's see. This one is the Gully. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. Okay, you know what? Sure, let's go for it. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, buy this one, and we'll go for, go for what's inside. I mean, it's probably gonna be the same, where it's a plot area where we have a bunch of different things we can set up. So right over here, I figure we'll get our corral and we'll start putting in our slime. So I definitely wanna trick this out as soon as we can. So get the higher walls, the music box, um, the air net, sure, why not? And then the port collector and the auto feeder. Cause we have the money for all that stuff, we might as well. So what I wanna do is get the boom slimes in there and the puddle slimes. And then we want to start feeding them. So what kind of food did they like the most? Again, it was, I think it was the briar hens, but we have diet meat and diet water. Oh, interesting. So they only eat water. So we might have to figure that out next. So I'll do that in just a moment, but for right now, will they actually work together? I guess this will be an interesting experiment, if not anything else. Maybe they won't, maybe they'll cancel each other out, but there's only really one way for me to find out, and that's to try, right? So I wanna get some of the briar hens, because that's the favorites. And I think what we'll do is we will um, send you guys back. First off, we'll just sort of experiment to see if the water slimes will even eat these ports. And then on top of that, we'll also make a little farm. Let's see how let's, ooh, they're all exploding. Oh no, are they gone? I think they're gone, oh no! <laughs> okay, so that does not work. Good to know, but that's what I need to experiment with. Whoa, they're feisty. Okay, so we'll have to find something else to combine the boom slimes with, but in the meantime, I mean, I could try the ringtail slimes. 
Why not? You know, that could still be a good combination. So I'll toss in a ringtail sign. Um, whoa, how did you get out here? Oh, that's just a normal hen hen. So over this way seems fine to me. We're going to get a uh, coop out. I will get as many of these as I can muster. A couple of these too. And then these normal hen hens that are just chilling out, I might as well just get those in there and set that up with the auto feeder. But we'll see, it has to, oh, that's right, it has to be nighttime. So maybe that's actually not the best. Ooh, okay. You know what? Good to know. Maybe not the best one. So if I have you in this cave, you'll turn back into a ringtail. We're learning, we're learning. So it's it's fine if they just say as, you know, the normal slimes for now. They're all exploding and stuff and causing big problems. But, uh, you know, we can activate the collector, some boom ports. But I think I'll just, no, this, there we go. Set that up with the auto feeder. That should be enough for just a couple of boom slimes, I think. I sure hope so. We'll leave that for now. We'll come back soon and then everything should be, I guess, booming with productivity, right? So for the couple of boom ports that I have, I can put those into the collector. And everybody else seems like they're pretty happy. We wanna go check out our group of slimes over this way. So I think I will have to find a different kind of slime. The combo up with the, the puddle slime. First off, I could maybe just do um, the ringtail if I can find a couple more of them. I think that would be interesting. Actually, well, I really only need the one. We get a lot of puddle slimes. And then this stuff is super full. So let me just take what I can so I can collect what I can in there. Okay, grab a couple more. And do this as well. And that should be pretty good because I can just get it to collect the rest of it. And then one, two, three. I don't want to have any on the floor because a lot of you have told me that's a bad idea. So see that, and that should be much better. Okay, 40 and 40, uh, it looks like we can collect a lot of this before it wilts away. But at this rate, I'm going to have extra of some things with how quickly we're sort of building up a collection. But honestly, that might just be a good thing. Okay, so I'm taking some of this, maybe I shouldn't actually right now. I'll come back for it, because I definitely need to organize some stuff in my inventory, but. There is a ton going on everywhere. Okay, so maybe I'll just grab some of this stuff. We'll head back just so I can organize a little bit more, but it looks like everybody is well fed at the least. But I do have this little ringtail slime. I think I'll combine that with the water slime if the game will let me. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I've just been getting different ports into the refinery. As you can see, I'm earning up a bit of a collection. I still think it's a good idea to get 100 of each as much as I can. Just that way I can know that I have that backup and then I can start selling whatever I have overflowing. I need two more boom ports and then I can get the dash boost. So that sounds like a really nice thing to get. So in the meantime, the one thing I do really wanna build, because I think it would be super duper useful, is the the pink warp depot. A set of two gadgets that allow you to, to remotely transfer resources between two points. So with this one, as you can see, I could just build this right now. I got the silky sand, the primordial oil. Uh, let's fabricate this. And I think maybe the best way to do it See, this is where it's interesting. How do I want to do this one? Because, you know, if my inventory is full with certain things, maybe I should just put one... Hmm. Here? Activate one of these. Install the gadget. Well, actually, what I could do also, if I wanted to stay a little bit more productive, just put one of the refinery links here. That might be better. Oh, no, I do not want to demolish it, but... Is that all that does? Oh no, this is where I can also just see what's in my refinery. That way I don't have to walk all the way down there every time. I think that's a good start. Uh, and then I'll have to find out how I want to use the teleporter, but I'm glad to have it because it is very useful. But I think that's a good step. I need to build another one of those for the Ember Valley. Okay, a few more, just like this. And then a few more over this way. So yeah, I'll start adding a little bit more of whatever I might have overflowing, whatever I have extra into this so that we have a hundred of each in a refinery and then everything else I can sell that's excess. And then when the money goes up, I can go to my reserves and make sure that things are being sold there too. All right then, so that should be good for both the angler and the rock, right? Yep, we're both at a hundred each, a little bit over, but you get the idea. So that's pretty cool. And I gotta do the same for the rest of them. 
Okay, so I've just been collecting and gathering more plorts. One thing I might do is, because I've been giving these guys just mostly just normal hen hens, which isn't even their favorite food. Their favorite food is the stony hen, so if I'm not giving them their favorite food anyways, I might as well just load them up with carrots, because I have a lot of leftover carrots that I don't have too much I can really do with. I think that eventually, I've had all the tabby slime ports I need. I think I will switch those out eventually. I think that'll probably be the next thing. Whenever I can find a, a slime that can survive well in the daytime or something, I think that'll be the next thing I sort of switch out. Because I think it's a, a good to eventually do that. Switch out the uh, sort of deposits for just different things. But I need to make sure I grab these before they go away. There's a lot of stuff to do in this game, what do you know? And I'm sorry if I'm not perfectly efficient. You know, that's sort of something I tried to warn people about when I first started the series is that I didn't really play much of the first game, so learning the ins and outs while also being the most efficient possible isn't really gonna happen. So, you know, it's just good to keep that in mind. Okay, so, go. And then once we're done with everything in today's episode, I definitely want to read through all of the different uh, entry logs for the slimes we've collected in today's episode, and maybe a couple more. What's this guy doing up there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to get them down without uh, relieving some of my inventory. I always bump into this thing and it scares me. Okay, so for right now, let's just make sure that everybody here is fed and happy. But now we should be able to strive a bit more with a little bit more inventory space, so that's great. Um, now that the carrots are out of there. But I have 40 hunter and 40 honey. I don't think I have much of either. Yeah, the That's the ringtail. The hunter's over here and then the honey's there and I don't have much of either. So let's just load that up as much as I can. And then same thing with this one. Very nice. So we'll keep doing that until we're at 100, I think. I also need to put some in here, but that just might take some time. I think at this point, the refinery is a little bit more important. Go. What about over this way? I mean, things are looking pretty good, I think. Oh yeah, the honey I already got started over here. Cool. And what about over here? Here's where the hunter is. Okay, good to know. Uh, but I'm starting to think that I might need to just put some more ports in there. Because right now things are looking a little bit topped off, you know? So there we go, I think everything is all caught up. I do have some more we can do over this way, so let's interact with this. And we have uh, Mochi Miles. Hey B, didn't you say something a while back about wanting more stuff? Hmm, wait, I think that was me. Well, whatever, enjoy more stuff. Well, we get the short pink coral columns, now available on the fabricator. Well, thank you very much, and it looks like we also have Thora West. Hey there B, I wanted to give you some something nice, so I tried making you cookies, but uh, baking ain't exactly my area of expertise. Hobson said they were so, so, so edible. Anyway, I bought you something instead. Hope you like it. The pink mangrove uh, now available on the fabricator. That's very nice. Everybody's giving us gifts. That's so sweet of them. So things are looking really good here. I might grab some more uh, phosphor over here. Now I gotta go check on my boom ports, I, I, or boom slimes. I wanna make sure that they are doing okay. Well, actually, let's see that really quickly. Grab too many of them. And then same deal on this side. Everybody's happily producing some more of those. So that's always good. But once we're done with this, there we go. I should be able to stash more of this stuff away just to make extra sure we are productive with everything. Actually, oh no, did I? Oh, that's Angler, Phosphor. Both of them have 100, so I think we're fine. We can start selling some of these. And it makes us some money, so you know what? You might as well take it, right? And then after this, we'll go check out the Ember Slimes just to make sure they're doing okay. I think, yeah, over this way. But I'll probably have to put this ringtail slime into, how are they doing in there? They're exploding, like they usually like to do, into a cave somewhere. Or I can set it up with a, a den that has, a, there we go. So this is working out, but I feel like I don't wanna take too many. Oh, some of those are elders. I haven't upgraded the hen or the thing that too much. Yeah, so actually, let's do this stuff. There we go, that'll help. Hopefully, yeah. It should, they should keep growing into more and more. I'm just trying to make sure that these guys get fed right now because they probably need that. Yeah, they're out over there. So we'll produce a couple more there. I'll grab this stuff. This will be really good to get. Right there, perfect. And let's go back out this way. So that should be enough for me to actually make something else in the refinery if I want to go back down there. I'm pretty certain. So that might be important to do right now. I think I can get the speed boots or something. Really looking forward to it, so 
Just pump that up and let's take a look. I can get the dash boots. These highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots reduce the energy consumption of sprinting, which I am all for. So there we go. Really glad to get those. And we're still working towards this because I don't have the puddle slimes anymore. That is something I wanna fix right now. I wanna go get the puddle slimes. I don't know exactly how to set them up, but I wanna go get some more of them so that hopefully <laughs> we can actually use them in the next episode. And it looks like as I was trying to make my way back over to um, this Gordo, because I know that there are some puddle slimes there, I have found myself another um, blueprint or something. This is going to be Sunfire Daisy's blueprint. It's recommended to wear eye protection when staring straight into the center of these daisies. Ah, huh, interesting. Oh, and there's another one of you guys. So I'll hold on to this and maybe if we can find our way into a cave, which hopefully soon we could, I might be able to do something with that. I don't see too much else around here. I don't know if I've poked around this area too specifically, but I know I'm getting close to the Largo or the Gordo, and that's what we need for the uh, for the puddle slime. So I definitely want to get those. Yep, right down this way. And I already see a couple of them, so I'll put this down. No, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Let's put that down gently, very gently. Let's make sure it doesn't fall off the side. I put it down gently right here. And then we should be back to it before it's nighttime, right? I hope. Okay, so, oh, and there's even some more uh, Primordi oil there. And hopefully yeah, the water slimes won't get too busy, but I definitely need to find a way to get them set up in water. And maybe I'll just get them set up with a slime we already have if needed. I'm not really quite sure what would be the best way to do that, but we'll figure it out over time for sure. Um, right now, goodbye. How do we want to manage this? Yeah, they're still popping in water, which is great. I have three of these puddle slimes. I'm looking for more. I don't know if any more will pop up though. Here's some chickens. Yeah, I'm not really seeing too much more when it comes to the puddle slimes. So what I might do really quickly is I'll go grab our little friend that was over there, the uh, other ringtail. And I'll bring it into the cave so it turns into a normal ringtail and then I can just scoop it up, no problem. I to be careful here because my energy is low, but much better. I've definitely been able to get around faster because of the fact that I uh, have these speed boots or whatever, so that's nice. Okay, so we're in the cave. You'll hop out and I, and I got you right away. Very cool. So is there anything more down here that I could maybe grab? I don't think so. Yeah, there's not gonna be any more puddle puddle ports or puddle slimes over this way. So I'm just sort of waiting for more of these ones to pop up. Hopefully soon they do. Oh, so I found one thing, another ringtail and another thing. Where are we? We're like, uh, we just exited the area with the Gordo there. So let's do that and see what this one is. Glad to find more of these. Get the hard cell upgrade component acquired. Use the fabricator to upgrade the Vax heart module. That's really useful. So we'll be able to have more health in case we need it. And I have this little guy. So if I can find a cave anywhere, or like right over there, I should be able just to run in and get this set up. There we go. Ready and thank you very much. And now I got you. So we have three ringtail and three puddle slimes. That's not too bad. I mean, I think that we could use that for sure to um, try to build up some kind of crawl if I can combine them. That's the big question. I think the best way to find that out is to get up a little, you know, ringtail slime area and then just give them a puddle slime port. That way I'm not risking losing my puddle slime. So I don't have a ton right now, but it's enough to experiment. So let me go do that now and we'll see what ends up happening. Okay, so we're finally back home and this might not be the most efficient way to do things, but it's, you know, just sort of, I'm trying to make the most out of my space right now. So what I wanna do is my ember slimes are still chilling out. I don't know if they really have too much at the moment. It doesn't seem like it, but there should be still more growing in here. And I just have to keep coming back and adding more, I think, because right now they're not really having too much. But I can add other meat sources. We have a lot of the uh, different kinds of hen hens. But for right over here, what we want to do, just make a corral and then high walls. We'll, we'll trick this one out with everything too. And I'll add the solar shield for now. I know it's not the most efficient way to do it. We should set it up in the cave, but I already have stuff there and that'd take more time than I need to experiment with this. So let's try this out. Give you a puddle port and maybe you'll eat that. In the meantime though, we can just keep them happy with whatever food we might have at our disposal because they eat fruit, veggie, and meat. So they don't have a favorite, but they're so cute. Look at them, oh my gosh. So before we go too crazy with anything more, we'll see if they eat that one port. 
and we'll take a look at the Slimepedia and really sort of figure some things out here. So in today's episode, we got the Ringtail Slime. Ringtail Slimes are nothing but trouble. Theft under cover of darkness is their favorite hobby, and they delight in getting away with as much as possible before the sun rises. The reason for this exclusively moonlight crime spree is that ringtails have a peculiar condition that transforms them into stone when exposed to sunlight. And while we're not saying this is an ancient curse, they're definitely the type of slime who would have an ancient curse if that was a thing. Once a ringtail slime starts eating, it will never stop. Just one ringtail slime is capable of wiping out an entire farm if given the time. Uh-oh. And they offer nothing in return because ringtail slimes stop producing ports when it would be otherwise full. If you plan on ranching these ravenous rascals, keep an eye out for mischievous, exp ex mischievous expression and know when to avoid feeding them. Okay, so we do not want to overfeed these guys. And then, uh... Those were the rancher risk. Here's the portonomics. Materials developed from ringtail ports are extremely resilient, actually hardening in the face of UV rays. And similar to ping ports, ringtail ports are very malleable, allowing a clever person to craft the wide range of things that can stand the test of time. Such things could be something as essential as sturdy shelter on a faraway island, or as simple as a collection of family photos that could survive a trek across a scorching desert. Interesting. Now also we got some information about the boom slimes. Boom slimes are often heard before they're seen. The slime cells of a boom slime are constantly vibrating, causing their slime to increasingly crackle with energy before ultimately exploding. However, the boom slimes always come out unscathed, though always a little dazed. Okay, good to know. Boom slimes are constantly building towards an ex inevitable explosion, making them quite hazardous to ranchers. In addition to those explosion causing bodily harm, they also have the capacity to send all nearby slimes flying into the air, making them a hard slime to corral. Highly volatile boom ports have all sorts of applications, including powering rocket thrusters and demolitions. Military organizations value their highly destructive capabilities for medical technology and other research. Imagine that. All right, then, that's interesting. And then I wanted to read a little bit more about the most important one of today's episode, I think, the puddle slime. Puddle slimes are a rare species of slime that live in fresh water pools found on the range. These slimes don't eat fruits, veggies, or meat like most other slimes. Instead, puddle slimes absorb water into their bodies while they sit on the surface of a pool. Puddle slimes need fresh water to survive and will quickly evaporate if left on any other surface too long. So that's what happened to the other puddle slimes. Okay. Puddle slimes aren't risky to manage, they just require a fair bit of maintenance. A rancher needs a pool of fresh water like a pond available for the puddle slimes and its plorts to sit in as if as they will evaporate away from if away from water. So how do I get a pool? I didn't see that option at all. Finally, puddle slimes, actually maybe there is one. Uh, maybe if I'm not misremembering, I will we'll go check out. Uh, finally, puddle slimes are exceptionally shy and will not produce ports if they are not close proximity to more than three other slimes. What what proximity are we talking here? Uh, overall, are three other types of slimes or just three other slimes? Uh, overall, a puddle slime is a, a better fit for a more experienced rancher, not one still wet behind the ears. <laughs> I got it. So maybe there is something I can do? Over this way, let's take a look. Yeah, right over here, the pond. That's right, here we go. So I could set up a couple of them here. The only problem is, wouldn't they just be able to easily escape? I mean, maybe they wouldn't want to. And they should just produce ports? That is so odd. Okay. See, are these slimes close enough though? That's where things get really, really confusing and I'm not really sure how the game expects that to work. Okay, so looks like a lot of these, uh pens are still growing so in the meantime i will launch one of those over but i'm going to get a lot of the what is it called the hens that we have i think the sea hens on the other side because we don't have too much of a use for those at the moment so if i could really just scoop all those up and give them to the ember or the boom slimes just so that they're happy that might be the best case scenario Okay, so they should be set up with some stuff now. They'll be eaten up for a little while. I'll get them to collect some more. And there's a few more things I want to experiment with in today's episode. I don't know if these guys are hungry at all. They've been sitting here for a little bit. So maybe I should just put it on like a normal, or actually even slow feeding. And I know the puddle ports. Oh, they're making some. Hey guys, they're sort of sitting here. I sort of feel bad. But I'll try to get some more puddle slime soon. So that'll hopefully keep them happy and healthy and producing more. In the meantime, 
Whoa, okay, they're getting some stuff here. We're going to just get it to collect. And I wanna see if we can maybe combine something somehow, we'll have to see. But for right now, um, seeing how once again we have an overflow of carrots, I think I'll apply all those there. And I, I guess we could do a medium amount of feeding. It should be fine. Uh, these briar hens are still growing. I want that number to really explode though, before we start switching over. In the meantime, is there anything more I can add to this? I don't think so. So once again, it didn't look like they had these water plorts. It looks like they don't actually eat those. So they won't combine with it and make a, a water Largo. And even if they did, I don't think it would do anything. So maybe water slimes can't become Largos, or at least not the way I'm expecting it to. I could try the other way around, but I don't think that's a good idea, at least not with them specifically. So there's a couple of things I'm trying to experiment with here just to figure out. But what I'll do, going back over this way, I'll grab a couple of the Ember Ports too. And we'll see if they bite. You guys are just exploding and causing a bunch of trouble. But uh, first off, give you a few ember ports and see if you eat them. I don't think they will, is the thing, because they just don't really eat that kind of stuff. They just have water. So I just don't think they can become Largos, which is fine. Let's put you back in the puddle. There you go. They're so cute though. I'm glad to have them. I can't wait to get a bunch more. Um, in the meantime though, I'm just a little bit curious. I'm still trying to experiment here. Here, you guys can take one of those and see if you'll take it. Looks like so far, once again, no. But let's try, is this a bad idea? Is this a good idea? There it is, oh, they're so cute though, I love it. So honestly, if that's the case, I guess we should just combine them. I guess we should just combine them. I'll have to keep them really happy. Cause I don't know if it'll be the best idea, but at this point, you know, they're all there. You might as well. Um, So, what is their favorite food gonna be? It's gonna put the briar hen. But beyond that, fruit, veggie, and meat. They'll eat basically anything else. So if I could just keep them happy for now, just to make sure, because I don't want them to get hungry and then break open everything. That's sort of my main concern. But that might be a good way to start producing more ember and more um, ringtail at the same time, which I, I need a lot of both. So that's really good to see. And worst case scenario, if they break out of this place, it, it could be worse. Um, the only thing I'm a little worried about, I don't know how the nighttime stuff works here, if they'll turn the stone. So let's obviously get this set up, the solar shield. Okay, now we should be good. I think that's probably where we wanna wrap things up for today's episode. We've made a ton of progress. I feel like at least we learned a lot, even if we didn't unlock a bunch of stuff or really see a ton. I think we learned a lot. We, we went back to Amber Valley, got those slimes, and we got the gully a lot. So pretty cool stuff if you ask me, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Slime Rancher 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.